Sydney was a person who always had a higher goal in mind. He was able to bring people together. Sid was a great friend of mine. Sidney and I met when I and he were probably 14, and it could have even been late 13. <laughs> Almost immediately, he said, say, man, you're tall. Uh, do you play basketball? And I said, yeah, it's my life. And he said, good, it's my life too. <laughs> and so it was a very good beginning. It was a wonderful, wonderful relationship. Sydney's dad is known as the first African American to have a string of pharmacies in his own name. Sydney was in charge of delivering the prescriptions that uh, people had ordered. And so in that, he drove all through Detroit. He made friends with so many different people of different stratospheres, uh, social, economically. Sidney missed that camaraderie at Cranbrook. He was the only African American in his class. So it was a somewhat tumultuous time, but at the same time, he had his friendship with Jim. I grew up on a farm in Michigan and you know we didn't have much money and so somebody like me felt like maybe I didn't belong but that led to a very good relationship between Sid and I in the context that we both were kind of outsiders for the people around us. What I would call two marginalized students at Cranbrook who had the opportunity to find joy in basketball and make commitments to each other and share their lives at that time was to me incredible. Ultimately, our relationship was one of working with each other and helping each other in school, in sports, in life. I've been totally touched by the amount of respect that they have from each other, the amount that they lay out their lives for each other in every way that they possibly could. Sid's decision to pursue a career in law had to do with a view that law was a really interesting and important area, but it wasn't an area that had many African-American people practicing it. He wanted to give fair judgment to people because of knowing why sometimes people make the decisions that they do is extremely important when you're judging them. His total belief in this is a world that needs more equity and justice. It was absolutely important for me to honor Sid. The Sidney Barthwell Fund at Harvard Law School is the opportunity for people without great amounts of money to go to great schools that enable them to do what Sid was doing, which is be a better person and make the world a better place. If there hadn't been something like that for me at Cranbrook, or at Harvard, I wouldn't be where I am today. What it means to me is that it gives my husband a chance to live on. He would have loved it because he would have said that really makes a difference.